my headset. I've got my Skype. Fucking working! Headset. It's working! I'd give you I've mine. My... I'd give you mine, but Tick Wife claimed it. Guys, it's working. I'm I'm I've going got my to my Skype approved headset. Shh. I'm going to the intro. Okay. I've got to I've got to get my good intro. Finish my drink and then we'll start. Da, 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 da. Right, <laughs> guys. Three, two, one. Live from several locations in the world. Uh, this is A Weekend in Gaming, Volume 2. Uh, I, of course, as always, am the Fighting Kakatoa, your host, Master of Ceremonies, General Dom. And joining me this week, uh, as last week, uh, first of all, Golden Games from the North. Hello. Uh, north. Yes, I am not to have a North, but yeah. He's from, he's of the North, and now I have two new guests. First of all, also from the North. Rail Danger. Rail, that is your cue. And from all the way across the rather sizable pond, I am Mr. Lightman of the east. Of the, of the eastern side. Well, when you say east, you're not from Norwich, so... I mean, I mean east. east-west. E- eastern U.S. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, now that is everyone introduced, and now we move on to our first topic of discussion, which is uh, shit that we've done in the week. Uh, any uh, any of you guys want to start? Because I haven't. Really I might as well because I'm gonna get laughed at. But uh, some of you folks may to know. Yesterday was my 19th, and I kind of had a bit of a misadventure with uh, alcohol. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> yeah, I'll start that. Thanks. Uh, I ended up having mixing vodka shots with uh, ale, and when I finally managed to get to my door, my keyhole was jumping around. I'm not going to lie, vodka and ale does sound like one of the most disgusting combinations of things that you can well, create. No, it wasn't mixed together, it was just I had vodka shots and then I had a pint of ale. Oh, okay, that, that's... Not, not a good idea. We, we over here refer to that as veil, because by the time you're done drinking it, you cannot speak and you always cover your mouth. Oh, dear yep. God. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a drink that um, me and my friends invented at school called Future Juice. Because everybody who drank it claimed to see five seconds into the future, I ended up talking to trees. I'd like to be a tree. <laughs> well, actually, no, I wouldn't. Considering fan fiction, I would not want to be a tree. No. <laughs> I wouldn't want to question a Camelot and then see you, because that'll give you nightmares. If that's, that's what that song is from. <sighs> that would be okay, a nightmare. I have, I, I, I know, I'm I know. surrounded by trees. <laughs> okay. I actually I'm, know of worse things in the world than uh, vodka and ale. And uh, then again, they are known as artificial mare juices, and if anybody knows what those are, you know exactly why they are the most disgusting things in the world. <laughs> Ew. It's just not very nice, and I would not recommend looking it up. All right. Okay, yeah, but other things I've been doing this week, folks, is I've been forced to buy me girlfriend to play an imagine <laughs> decorating yeah, game, which was terrible. Doesn't exactly thrill the sound of that. What are you playing? Imagine decorate. Uh, I was forced. <laughs> forced. You played willingly. Don't lie. lie. I read some really bad visual novels. Which ones? Uh, uh, the swimming I... anime one. <laughs> and Jurassic oh, yes, Heart. I which I've, oh, funny. that is one of the funniest things. Oh, I was watching that Leviathan straight up. Uh, what the Friday? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I did, I did the playthrough of it as well. Mm. I, I, the, what I've been, I've got my three, I got my 3DS this week, so. Yay! Playing good games, I've been playing Ocarina of Time in 3D, and it's, it's fucking Told awesome. Told you we cave. Of course I'd cave, it's got, it's, it's got Zelda, and it's got Fire Emblem, and it's gonna get incredible other games. <laughs> and it's 3D. All over. I did fan gasm. When I turned the 3D on, I was like, holy shit. It's cool, isn't it, but it eats your battery up. Exactly. That's the problem, the battery is really low. And game, do- well, I ordered it off Game, which is an English uh, game retailer, as would probably be said by the title. They didn't say that they wouldn't include a charger. So what I do is I've oh, got... Oh, yeah, I've got to do that with the Xbox. How do you buy one of those without a charger? They, I, they're just I included. I got the charger with a charger. I got the 3DS well, XL with no fucking wait, charger. Wait, mine came with a charger. What it is, is if... Well, mine was the Fire Emblem. Mine angle. came with, with the two. SI charger, it's the same yeah. charger. Two, can you send me one? That's and what mine is a regular one. If sick well, didn't, didn't, take it, it, didn't take it, I would. <laughs> That's right. why they didn't give you a charger, because if you have a DSi, they'll assume you'll have the same charger, because it's the same charger. No, I just got a, I had a regular DS when I played Was it used? Oh, you're good. Mm, exactly. That's what I thought. I thought, oh, maybe it's the same, but then it isn't. No. No, it isn't. All right. 
I got my 3DS. Uh, any any other news from you from you guys? Well, um, I, I think it was mo Monday. My wife comes over to me. She goes, "Well, your birthday is May 23rd, right?" I'm like, "Yeah." She goes, "Well, there's a sale today." I'm like, "On my birthday? What do you?" Mean? And she goes, "No, no, you silly." And then she points me to the Origin site and she bought me SimCity with the limit the limited edition. So you get limited amounts of cities. So basically, you're building in Doncaster. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, I got I got the special edition version, which has the uh, heroes and villains uh, add-on, the London set of the ink. I should say the ink UK London set, the Fr the French set, and the German set. It's much more inner city stuff. crime and much much more tax. I'm going to say the the London London London. London. onions. Lots of onions. Yes. And my yeah. town, my one region is named um, Tater Tots. Mm. And all my cities are based around potato, like potato farmer, potato farmers. They're like all the people that do the far, the, that um, agricultural and and regional stuff for them. <laughs> and everything goes green. It's really cool. Nice. I'll be streaming at some point this week again. It's awesome here. Anything from you, Ryan? Um, I've been playing a lot of Don't Starve, and I've got, I today got Binding of Isaac, uh, Limbo, um, Amnesia. Um, oh, and yeah. some others. Oh. You're buying, you've just bought three fantastic indie games. Binding yeah, I actually games. didn't buy them. My friend gave me them off his, um, bundle. Uh, Humble Bundle. Free stuff! Yes! I didn't Free stuff for them. the win. Yes. So my friend, um, Welcome to Amnesia, me. the scariest game of your life. Yeah. I, I didn't find Amnesia particularly don't scary. Play I mean, it, it don't was, play it was, Amnesia when it's that night time, believe me. I played, um, I can't remember the name of it, uh, I found something like Lone Survivor slightly more scary than, um, Amnesia. Well, I played Amnesia with my light, with the lights off, and my Alienware lights off. My Alienware uh, mouse and keyboard, the lights are off. On. They're coming so to I, get I, you, I Barbara. <laughs> so I was just like, oh my goodness. And then I had my headset on, because my headset's 7.1 surround. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not wasn't a good idea. <laughs> when especially when no. you hear the monster out of nowhere or like the laughter in the background, it's like, oh god! Uh, you're like looking around, like where the hell is this coming from? <laughs> oh no! I, I okay. The last bit, last little bit of news from me at least. My continued stream of stuff in the mail keeps coming. Essentially, pretty much every day now, I have got something in my post. Yeah, uh, you, whether I've been, I've been watching it. You're welcome. Twitter, uh... Yeah, on my on my Twitter, I've pretty much uploaded everything. So it. It started with, like, just a little, little shit. I got my Dalek key ring. Yeah, we had overly packed. Mm -hmm. And then I've got, I got the 3DS. I've got my three three comic books. It's basically, it's just not stopping. And now the most recent thing I picked up from my mail was um, uh, issue three of the MLP Micro series of comics, nice. which is which is very good comic. And what, I recommend wait you, you get, like, your bank statement, CJ. Are you going to put it with that up? Yes, I'll put that. Up. I got new Skylanders. Oh right, right. I got. I'm up to twenty two now. Nice. I've never. I've I, never remember been the, I remember the weeks where I used to get like post every day because I kept buying crap off eBay. Exactly. And you my sister-in-law got a new Iron Man figure. Nice. Yeah. Well, I've made my opinion clear on Iron Man, so <laughs> you certainly have. And I yesterday. Have. Um, I spent most of my time sat in my best friend's room um, assembling nandroids and yelling at them profusely. Nandroids? Nandroids. They're, um... That, that sounds like a crazy Saturday night. That sounds, like an, that sounds like something someone has built a load of grandmas and has set them upon the world. <laughs> They're actually, um... Behold, ...chibi kind of figurines. Oh, God. Grandroid, give me some cookies and milk. <laughs> I did my I got my evil plush coming, so I can't talk about Chibi. Uh, I do right. Chibi artwork. No oh, god. Alright, should we let should we move on to the news? Well, well yes. with another in in other good news, the viewers the viewers of my channel will know this. My friend finally got Trina up and running. This first fully functional artificial intelligence. Nice. Ooh. We're gonna be yeah. taken over by robots, ladies and gentlemen, and it'll be Mr. No, well, he has yeah, oh, no, it's not my fault. It's his, it's her fault, actually, for doing it. But th her name is Trina because she modeled it after Tron, the master computer. Ah, now I'm so. like, what wrong? Now I'm saying to myself, what's wrong with this picture? She goes, no, I didn't do the evil thing. I'm like, good. <laughs> Programmed beyond Asimov's laws of free robotics, so it can't kill people. 
Now, mo moving, moving swiftly on from stuff that will affect the human race and, and onto stuff yeah. that is basically bullshit. Uh, let's just go on to uh, as, use keyword. <laughs> section known as the news, where we discuss shit, shit that affects us and shit that doesn't affect us. Uh, first of all, the next Xbox that has been announced uh, has an optional subscription fee of around £15. Uh, we have no idea what this optional thing is, so I at least assume that it has something to do with a free meal. Yeah, we did have some debate why someone would put optional fee because it's like this. Some, there's got to be a catch. The to fee this. will get you act. The, the fee will get you Xbox Live, and it'll get you some free stuff randomly. Um, I don't know what it is. Sometimes it might be like McDonald's, the, the gift certificate, stuff like that, depending on <laughs> the sponsors. It gives you meth. They, yeah. they email you meth. I hope I, I get the, the contract. <laughs> we can in the contract. Like, all right, we will be able to email you meth. Uh, I hope okay. I get a butler that gives me foot rubs while I'm playing the games that I want to play. We no, I'm I'm oh, 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 that's the £50 game. option. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> £100, it's, uh, it, it, basically, it, it cooks you a meal, it gives you a nice night on the town for £100. But, yeah, but the £100 the will come with a catch. <laughs> well, well, it, it, comes, no. it comes with a catch, though. It'll never play a game. But I'll play the games. <laughs> Ryle, machines that give you a happy ending never end well. They they can never get the grip right. Oh god. Alright, okay, okay, we've got we've got like three and a half minutes we've got to like man, shut up. We've got three and a half minutes to get through the news. Uh okay, Pikmin three and other games have been labelled as understaffed, which is leading to date pushbacks. Uh which isn't good. Um any Boo. commentary or is that just Boo. <laughs> I think Boo. Like Nintendo's trying to like delay stuff to make stuff better or something. Mm -hmm. They do tend to do that. Uh, yeah. no, another thing, uh, The Sims 4 has been officially registered by EA, so you can officially start killing people, You don't, basically making people just to kill them in around so, two years. So we'll be able to buy it and not get on the, not get on the game for a week? Yeah, pretty oh, much. Boy. I so love it, Sims. <laughs> it's nothing more fun than putting, uh, putting, animate, uh, putting virtual people inside a house with no doors oh. and a Oven. <laughs> speaking speaking of the Sims the Sims, the new Sims three um expansion comes in soon, uh, Island Paradise. How many fucking expansions does that one have? Because I remember Sims two had about eight. This the first Sims had around eight as well. This one has um let me count. Uh, I have it I have it here, uh in my files. I had it up for this thing, I guess gotta get Nine thousand and one. And that no that's what you've been looking at my files. That's how many expansions Sims twenty is gonna have. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> All right, there is one, two, three, four, five, one, five, six, seven, eight, eight official with an uh, eight, eight official expansions with the ninth one coming in. Uh, four different mega packs and one and two different add-on packs, which technically makes it about thirteen different expansions. Uh, I have every one of them. I love it to death. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped. I, I didn't really get the reason, so okay. La last bit of news before we all sign off. Uh, Shadow of the Eternals has been announced, which is made by, I think, Silicon Knights, the creators of Eternal Darkness. It is basically Eternal Darkness 2 without name, due to the fact that Nintendo owned the rights to the original Eternal Darkness, as well as the Insanity system. So you can now, pa apparently you can pattern game mechanics as well. So uh, that's coming out. It looks pretty good. Uh, the trailer is out there. I'll and probably get that then, so... Mm. I was a big fan of the first one. I, I Me too. Around 2008, so I was quite late to the party on the Eternal Darkness front. That seems to be my thing. I keep showing up late to stuff. And I just live under a giant boulder. It's nice under it's nice under a rock. It, there's there's no rain. Yeah. I just uh, kind of like see games that I came out years ago. And I thought I play them now, and I'm like, why have I never heard of this? It's so good. I I am playing Monkey Island in 2010. People, you were well, like Monkey Island in 2010. Yeah, I was very late to that party. Well, people like us are are out there to show the world that pe games like this, like that, have slipped through the radar, and people are just like, ah, fuck it, I'll just play it later and never actually play it. And then they, they oh, forget about destroyed. it. And then years later, we come out with this stuff, and they're like, oh my god, this seems so, why haven't I heard of this before? The question is, you have. You just for, you just pushed it aside. <laughs> okay, you were we just mesmerized okay. by the Call of Duty that was coming out at that point. Exactly. Okay. Uh, we're going to have to sign off, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to thank my guests, Gone Games, Light Man, and Ryle Danger. Uh, you've been Anytime. passable. Let's be honest, yep. it's better than just talking to Gone. Uh, I have been the Fighting Kakatoa. Hope you guys have a fantastic evening, fantastic life, and all that shit. 
Keep calm, stay in school, and don't do math. Right, what is the evidence? Time.